everyone it's me fashion timer the time one bringing you guys another wonderful wig review and this wig ironically enough has got to be by far one of the best human hair units that i have ever received from the beauty supply that's right you guys heard me correctly this wig is being sponsored by the Hey Beauty Wig Teak down there in Duncanville, Texan, Texan, Texas, AKA my job. And this wig is, is actually being sponsored from them and also the wonderful company of Hair Topic. Hair Topic has different uh, wire array of different type of wigs from human, human blended, and also uh, synthetic units with very, very high quality and definitely gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Um, Today we are talking about one of their prized possessions, their human hair units, their million dollar hair units. Um, this is the unit. This is a human hair Brazilian lace 360. So I am able to put this up in a pony or a high pony. Uh, mine is in the style 803 and from them, this is 24 inches. Now we're gonna get into some details on that and everything, but and also um this is it has a natural natural baby hairline uh so you don't have to worry about all of that and i don't even have mine glued down but do y'all not see how hd that lace is let's get there we go put it right back yeah but do y'all not see how hd that lace is and this is not even tacked down uh, it has an elastic band included, and it has, uh, of course, I already mentioned that it's 360 lace. It is able to be dyed, bleached, or perm, and it is 100% unprocessed hair. Uh, mine is in natural black, which is basically like a 1B, and it is 10A hair. So, that's what the stock card says, and now we're going to get into my initial review. So, after reading all of that, that sounds all wonderful and all the perks and all that fun stuff. So let's talk about what I really, really think about this unit. And I have had it on all day, so I can give you guys a very good description of it. Number one, originally where the band is placed, is placed, that, that elastic band, it's placed in the uh it's it's placed in a weird spot. So what I usually do is I cut that band out and I place it where I want it to be. So now my wig can actually sit on my head perfectly and it doesn't feel like it's sliding back. So that's one thing that I will tell anybody, if you get this unit, you will have to adjust it or customize it to where you will be moving your uh, elastic band. Also, I did pluck mine and I plucked mine not because it was not, you know, it wasn't ready to go or anything like that. I plucked mine because I wanted mine to be, and the only part that I plucked was just the parting space. I didn't pluck anything on the front. This is literally what it looks like. Uh, I did move my baby hairs back because when you first get it, the baby hairs are lower into the face. So I just slid mine back. And when I actually wear this unit, I'll actually customize it a little bit more to where I create my baby hairs and all that fun stuff. Um, but yes, I plucked my part because I knew for a fact I was only going to wear this wig as a side part, not a metal part, anything. Uh, it definitely has very good, uh, parting space on this unit. Uh, but like I said, I knew for a fact that I was going to wear mine as a really pretty natural looking side part for those days that I don't feel like doing too much or just, you know, I just want to get up and go and I have a really cute unit on my head. Um, there are two combs in the front along with comb in the back with the adjustable strap. So that's a plus also. I'm going to say that this wig is definitely medium, small to medium head friendly. If you do have a lot, a lot of hair, what you can do is just have someone braid your hair all the way back into like straight back cornrows. That way your hair is flatter so it can fit your head. But if you do have a larger size head, I'm going to be honest, I don't think this is going to be is going to work for you. Uh and that's only because in certain areas, it's very, very tight. And if you have a larger head, you're probably more likely going to uh, not just stretch out the cap, but you're actually going to tear that lace. Um, also, the hair, the hair itself is so much thicker. So a fun fact about this company, 
This company has been around for a minute and when they started tapping it into human hair units, they actually start, uh, the first batch that they made wasn't as thick. This is thick. Uh, it's actually very, very comfortable, very breathable. I can honestly say I don't have any issues with this wig at all. Uh, besides the fact that it's just not glued down. Um, uh, you are able to wear this wet wig as a glueless unit. Me personally, I will tack up, you know, put some freeze spray up there just so it won't move and it'll actually stay in place where I need it to be. Um, also, this unit is 100% human hair, so you are able to put heat. I did reflat iron mine. Um, I'm going to say this. The length itself is already kind of pre-cut into layers, so you'll actually see the natural layers into it. Like, I just curled mine back just so that natural layer around the front area can come into play. Um, honestly, I'm going to say this. I don't believe that it's actually fully 24 inches. I'm going to say it's about a good, uh, I'm going to say 16, maybe 18 inches. But nevertheless, this is actually still a beautiful unit regardless of what size it is. But I'm going to say that it's a really about 18 inches. Um, the density on this unit is about 130. But I actually love, 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 love this unit. Uh, regardless of what length this, what, whatever length this is and I honestly cannot wait to get the another another unit from them or you know purchase another unit from them from my job at Hey Beauty in Duckville, Texas and uh, it was definitely worth it's worth the buy I'm definitely gonna say that this is also an investment piece so don't automatically think this is this is a $60 $50 type of wig it is an investment piece so it is a hundred plus up uh, on pricing but Nevertheless, like I said, this is not a beginner friendly type of wig. If you know you don't want to spend that amount of money, this is a investment piece type unit. And this is for my hardcore wig wears that's been in the game for a minute and they are like, ah, it's time to it's time to upgrade and it's time to graduate to human hair. Um, like I said, I'm going to give this two thumbs up. I love this unit. I love everything about this unit, the flow of it, the movement of it, everything. So definitely make sure if you want to cop this unit you want more info about it definitely go to the bottom and make sure you check out the in the description box i'll be leaving the address to the uh to the hair tea uh to the wig teak and i will be leaving the phone number so you can call paulette and get more information about this unit so as always if this video was to you guys liking it and it was highly informative make sure you <laughs> like share and subscribe also hit that bell at the top to be notified when I, Fashion Tamer the Tame One, drops another video. And until we meet again, my Tame Raiders, bye.